Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and this video is brought to you by this comment. Now today I'm not going to be doing exactly what the comment says, but I'm going to do something very similar. So basically, instead of like uh, it appearing and then fading away, I'm just going to let it appear, and then you can press X to like shut it down. So first of all, we're going to need our part. So this means that uh, like if they hit this part, then it'll activate. So let's just name this hit part. And we're just going to anchor it and that should be all you're gonna do. Next you can go into the starter GUI, click the plus, enter in a screen GUI. You can rename it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call this GUI. And then under the GUI, you can click the plus and then enter in a frame. So this will be the thing that will pop up when you hit the block. So I'm just going to leave it at frame. So now you can customize uh, the frame however you want. So I'm just going to quickly resize it. So if you go into the size, you can change it to like 300, 400, which looks kind of weird. Yeah, that, that looks really weird. Let's change this to 500, move it to the middle, okay, so this will be our frame. And the next thing we need to do is click the plus and enter in a text button. So this will be our X, so if you press it, it will be uh, X. So you can just call it the exit, because it will exit out the frame. So then you can change the background color into red. And then you can go down here into the text color and make sure that it's white. Make sure that the text is X and then you can make it text scaled and you can make the font bold. So just like that. After that, under the exit, enter in a local script. So click the plus and add in a local script, rename it to exit and then you can write what I write. So local button equals to script dot parent and then button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then we're just gonna write script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals to false so that's all we're gonna do for the exit button uh, so under the actual frame you can do whatever you want so this will be like your frame thingy. So this will be my title. It's gonna be pretty simple, so not gonna do too much. So title, let's make it text scaled. And then I'm just gonna add a bunch of titles. So just pretend that that, that this is totally your frame. Just like that. So this will be what will be appearing as soon as you touch uh, this brick. So for now you can go into the frame, go into the properties, and then make sure that the visible is unchecked. After that, go back to the GUI and add in a local script. So this will be our hit detection script, so you can just name it hit detection. And then you can now write what I write, so local brick equals to game dot workspace dot hit part so make sure that this hit part matches with the hit part in the workspace and if it's under something for example if it's under the base plate then just in front of it make sure that you put base plate and then put a dot so which means that it's under the base plate but since it's not so it's just under the workspace we're just gonna have under a workspace and a hit part so I'm just gonna move it back out and then you can continue to write what I write. So brick dot touched colon connect function hit and then go down the line. If hit and hit dot parent colon find first child, which is a humanoid, then go down the line and then script dot parent dot frame dot visible equals to true so just make sure that this name the frame matches with the frame that you have here so yeah that should be the script so i'm just going to insert a spawn so i spawn near it and then we can go test it out 
So I just load it in, and you can see as soon as we touch the brick, uh, it opens, and then if we touch X, it closes. So you can see it works very well. So that will be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And comment down below if you like me doing tutorials on this new base plate or the old base plate. And also tell me that if you want me to upload more because I've been considering uploading twice a week instead of once a week. Anyways, bye! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do have any video ideas, make sure to comment down below in the comment sections. I might not do all of them, but I'll try my best. And click the left to subscribe, click the one on the right to watch another random video. Okay, bye!